if you're interested and you search enough, you'll find tons of websites that will show you how to open a normal combination padlock like this. One of the things none of the websites do, though, is show you what to do with the lock now that you have it open. It's, it's great that you have it open, but let's do something useful with it. Let's find out the combination. And to do that, we need to look inside. To understand what we're going to be looking at next, here's a quick diagram of the insides of a lock. The key components that we're looking at are the locking latch, the combination disc, the combination dial, and um, the, you can see the little slats that are uh, at the very top part of the picture. What I've done is I put a little LED inside the lock. Um, when you're doing this at home, you can just take a small flashlight and you'll be able to see. You see, as I'm looking through the hole, I'm looking over the top of the locking latch and I'm looking in at the three different combination discs. We're going to label them 1, 2, and 3 from the right to the left. As we're turning the dial clockwise, we're lining up the, the slot of the first disc with the top part of the combination latch. And it gives us a number under the red arrow of 27. And we're going to write that down. Now we turn the dial counterclockwise. until it catches on the second disc. And we're going to subsequently line it up the same way. So there you have it. It's just a little on the bottom. You see it's just a smidge, kind of somewhere between 9 and 10. And then we turn it clockwise again, and we're lining up the next notch of the combination disc the same way. And this one seems to be somewhere right between 33, 34. I'll write that down. What we end up with is three key numbers. These key numbers are crucial in trying to find the actual position of the locking mechanism inside of the lock. To really understand this, let's take a different look inside the lock. You see in this first picture, we have the combination disc is in the very center, and I've highlighted the slot in red. You notice that the locking lever can only rotate into the slot if it's in a very particular area, marked by that black line. Now, as we were looking inside the lock, we could only see a very small portion of the disc. As you see, it represents approximately this area. When we superimpose these areas over the face of an actual lock, you can see the area that we were seeing was somewhere between 35 and 32. And you can see the area that the locking lever has to fit into is going to be somewhere in the area of the number 5. Next thing we want to do is make a little chart that looks like this, and I'll explain the right side in a few seconds. So we turn the dial to 27, looking at the red under the red mark, and we count out the area that the slot should be in. And so what we get is 19, 20, 21, and 22. So now we're going to turn the dial, we're going to do the same thing for 10. And we count out where we think the slot is. 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we'll do it for the last number of 34. And we get 26, 27, 28, and 29 as the area that our slot should be in. Remember, this can change depending on how we're visually looking through the hole. Now what we want to do is we want to figure out if the slot is in the area for the locking latch to go into, what number does the lock show? So we're going to turn 19 to the slot right there on the right. And you see we get the number 14. And because there's some wiggle room on some of the numbers, we're going to go ahead and extend that out by one, one dot on each one. So we're going to have 14, 13, 12, and 10. And this just accounts for some of the wiggle room that we found like on those uh, last two numbers. And we're going to do that for all the other combinations. 
So we put 2 under the first slot. And we read that as 37, 36, 35, and 34. Then we put 26 in the first slot. And we get 21, 20, 19, and 18. So now these are our four different combinations that we've come up with. So let's lock the lock and try it out. Turn it around a couple times clockwise. We line up to 14. Counterclockwise, pass the number, and then back to it just as normal. To 37, and we go to 21. Does it work? Doesn't work. Let's try one number. 20. Pops right open. So there's our combination. 14, 37, 20. Anyway, that's how you do it, and I hope this information helps uh, people reclaim some of those lost locks of theirs.